Hello and welcome back to Island Living where we live in an island. Today I'm going to be building for you guys a farm. It is a cocoa farm like you can see behind me and it is semi-automatic. It's not totally automatic because we still need to plant the cocoa beans but everything else is just like cool. You just press the button and go. So let's get busy with it. I've already built this one section over because I want it's easy peasy. I'm going to do another one. Another section is exactly the same. So I just wanted to show you what the complete unit looks like. And there's going to be a button that you press and then it makes all the cocoa beans run down and through into the hopper and then into the chests, as you can see. Then you just pick up a bunch and replant. Normally there will be another wall here that will keep the cocoa, the cocoa beans from jumping all the way out, and that is the way it goes. This particular one is a six by five because it is easy for anybody to be able to um, replant all the cocoa beans at this height, of course. Okay, so let's get busy. This is a six by five, which is a 30 block on both sides. So it will be 60 cocoa beans that we will need for that. Right? 30 and 30. So let's get busy. We're going to be needing, let me show you what we're going to be needing besides the fact that you can see some of these things. We're going to be needing, well, <clears throat> let me start right here. We're going to be needing a couple of hoppers for the end. A button so we can press it and get it activated. A couple of chests where all the cocoa beans are gonna go in. Some cocoa beans, if you're building just one single wall like mine here, that will require 60 cocoa beans because there's 30 on each side. But don't worry, if you just happen to have five or six, they'll just pop new ones all the time. And then you can just continue planting until you have a full wall. You're gonna need for the redstone down below, you're gonna need some redstone you can need two repeaters if four repeaters if that's all you're going to do here and that's just to carry the signal a strong signal all the way down to the other side you're going to need some pistons five for each side a block of your choice definitely you're going to need some wood and not just any wood it has to be jungle wood because that's the only thing that the cocoa beans can hold on to and birch slabs you no i say in birch slabs any kind of slabs will be will be good okay? glass for the end and some light to light up the area because you don't want mobs so what we're going to start is i'll start from the top and uh, and then work my way down just so that you can see and we'll do quickly we'll go and set up a new row and then uh, i'll show you the redstone okay so let's get busy with this as you can see, they're up one on top, and you can peel her up, so make sure you bring some scaffolding. If you have some dirt, dirt is always good, okay? So then you, you go all the way up to the top, and then you start. Usually what I do is I put like a, like, um, uh, what is that? A fence, because a fence is just like a stick, and I, and I bring it all the way up to the height I want. So let me tell you how much height I have here so that you, you have an idea of how high you should start, okay? The chest is a level one, and then the water is two. Okay, that holds it. So that's two, three, right here in the middle, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the height for it by itself. And then you want to put something on top, and I just went just another block. So that's nine and 10 is where I put the lower half of the slabs. And the reason why we do, do this is because we don't want mobs spawning there. So uh, the whole area is a seven across, seven wide, and then 17 back all the way to this point. So that should be your best place to start with a, an area of that that magnitude so right here on top i'm just going to put a little bit because we also want to light it up and this also gives us a chance to not have anything jump out <laughs> not that ever i've never seen any being jump up high but you just never know so 
we're going to start with a little bit. I'm just going to cover it up to one over and that's it. Okay. The next thing that I suggest you do is put the, the wall. That is, we're going to leave one whole block before we start our wall, right? And this will be where we start with our first piston, and then the walls will, will go on that way. So remember, there are five pistons for one end, and they don't, they're not sticky, okay? Because we don't want them to be sticky pink pistons. It will ruin the whole thing. So you face it towards you. And then we can start, uh, let's see, let me just make sure. Okay. Let's just start right here. Okay, there we go. This is our first piston, and then it's going to be our wall of six across. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> this thing's well, actually, it doesn't really matter because they'll stick to anything. If you want to leave them like this, you can. Or if you want to put them up on top, up one on top of the other, that's fine too. I'm just going to leave them like this because it really doesn't matter. And then at the end of this one, it's going to be a space. And then it's going to come our next piston. So far, so good. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Also, make sure that you have an axe if you're doing wood, a pickaxe if you're using any other kind of material that is not wood. Like, you can do this in stone, so that would be just as fine. Cool. And you can leave this block here because this will serve you as a cushion for the other part that you need. So that will be a block of your choice. And you're going to need that. That's like that one over there. And then you can see you saw it working, so you have an idea that it does work. Okay, cool. At this point, you can continue on building onto it. So let's put our next row. And the last thing I'm going to do is put those other pistons on. You can aim towards the back, and it'll face it towards you. So that, that's easy. And we're going to do it this way. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. So you can mix them up, or you can just have them all go in one direction. It's up to you. A lot of people like to see things orderly in certain directions. So you know, for them, this would be fine for them to do it in just one direction. So let's go with the next row real quick. We can leave it or we can take it. I'm going to take it off because I'm just going to do it all in one direction like this. And then we're going to put our next piston. And then we'll put the rest on as the last thing. This is really an easy farm to do. But it is, it is so cool because then you'll be able to get a ton of beans. Let me also give you a bit of advice. There's two here. There are two spaces between. That's why we have two hoppers because the beans need to grow on both ends and they require one space each. So that's why it's that way. You, know, you cannot do just one little trail. Okay, cool. Let's continue. My dog decided she needed to park specifically at the time that I'm doing this. Then I show you, this is like, like if you were doing the very first one, that's how it would be. Okay, and then we're going to start our next pistons. I'm just going to put a little cushion there, but we'll eventually take it off. Okay, there's one, two, three. A lot of places require uh, people to do challenges, and this is really good to have a big farm to do challenges with. Alrighty, and that's it. That's, that's your wall and the pistons. Now all we need to do is make sure that we connect the redstone. Make another little cradle for the water, which I would do right away, which is okay. What I do is I just come right over. It doesn't really matter. And make sure you have two like that. And half slab is enough for it to, oops, I have enough. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that. 
doesn't really matter. And right there. Perfect. You can put light under there if you like, or you can put anything that is okay. Actually, I don't think anything can really spawn there that's really, really bad except for not even a spider. I think a spider requires two blocks. Okay, cool. Now we're going to lift this one up by, which is this one here. We're going to lift it up. We're going to bring it over. Okay, I have enough of those. Sorry about my dog barking in the background, but she... And believe it or not, it's actually quite late now. It is it's nighttime. So I just got home from bowling and decided I wanted to share with you guys this since I needed to build one anyways. I'm going to go with one more so that I can put my two blocks for my next one if I wanted it. Okay, cool. I also wanted to show you that you can do the two pistons, I mean the two hoppers like this, put the water running into them and that's it, and each one will have its own. Or you can get rid of these ones here and have another trail of water running to one connector at the end, one to one set of hoppers with a couple of chests at the end. So you can do that or you can do it individually like this. The only reason why I did it this way is just to show you that they do come down quite hard and then they, they can go right in there or they can, I haven't done the other one. Okay, cool. So now this is where we're going to connect these ones. This is how this one will look, and I'll connect them later just so that you can see the difference, okay? Right here, and then we want to put one here. It's going to make the connections when we put the... And they should all be on the top. I put two here because I need one on the outside, and I need to get rid of this one. So you can get rid of it. And then you put one on top, and then two here, because otherwise we can't do And we get rid of this one. Okay, cool. Great. It's looking good. Now on the other side, we do exactly the same thing, except for we don't end it. We're just, just going to go. We're going to put one whole block because this is what's going to make the connection. And then, as you can see, we get one and then two. We get rid of the middle one. One and then two and then one at the very, very top. Okay. Oh, too much. Perfect. And now we can do the redstone, and that's easy peasy. I'm going to start right here and then we'll add the button so you can see how it works by itself, okay? Just like if you just wanted to do one. And then I show you how we connect them both. So the only reason why I have an extra repeater here is for our connection in between because we, don't, we want those lines to always be strong signals. At this time, if you want to, you can go ahead and, and pluck your beans down so they start maturing, and by the, by, the end you by the end, you'll be ready to just harvest them. That would be so much fun to see the machine working and really see that they do fall. So. And of course, my dog is most unhappy because I went ahead and locked her out of the room. She tends to come over and pull my arm, and right here. And it's good to have a wall in front of it because, also a bit of advice, if you're able to come in here and do something like this, they begin to grow and they'll kind of lock you in place if you're not careful. Okay, cool. I'll pick these guys up. Now, here comes the redstone, it's just easy peasy. I'm actually going to put the button here. But we don't need a button if we're going to have a continuation, and we'll do that later, okay? And right here, this block is going to pick up the signal from there and bring it up and over, up and over, and up. And that's it. You don't need to put anything on top of the piston. And the same signal is going to go across to activate the other side. And make sure that when you put this 
when you put these um, repeaters that you're facing the direction of the, let me just, wait, wait, the, where you want the signal to go. And the, we want the signal to go this direction. There's one, two, and three. And then I give it, you just click on the base and it opens it up. It gives you more time. So that's why we want to give it some time for it to just make sure all of the blocks have moved over and then they come back. I, I like to give a little bit of space and then bring another repeater here just for strength to the tap. Otherwise, you'll see if you don't do this and you're able to look at the signal, you see that the redstone, when it's activated, looks a little not quite so strong. It looks a little bit faded. And that's it. That's it. We're done with that. Now, for the back here, make sure that you put a couple of blocks to keep the water from running, spilling that way. Now, this is the time when we put we can put our water. We have, uh, we're done with the rest one. And then uh, the two chests and the hoppers, we'll do that real fast. And like I say, you can, instead of this, you could just make one whole line where all the water will be streaming that way. Oh, the court, I'm so sorry about her. Oops, it's I give you some room. Yes. Make sure your hoppers are going into the chest and the water. The cut is a little bit impossible today. And that's it. The water doesn't spill out because it, it looks at a full block here and really is just half slab. This one is ready to be built on another, like just like that one. Okay. So let's see. Now that we have everything going, now we can press the button and look at it working. There they all go. And there they come. So in order for us to connect this here, what we like to do is we want to be able to connect them through a another block. So we can either bring the block across here or you can bring it underneath. It doesn't matter. And we can get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this right away because we don't need it. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, if you want to just do it from the top, that's fine. You don't need to lower or anything. I'm just going to get, uh, I can get half slabs just so that we can look at it. You can cover this up once you finish. I just want to show you. You just connect it right there. Okay. And then I like personally to put, because now this is going to bring in a new signal up here. I like to put a little repeater here. Just so. And you don't have to give it any time because it doesn't need any. Okay. We don't have anything planted, but if we did and we press the button, we should be able to see. Oops. Oh, that one doesn't have any yet. <laughs> and a lot of times, because of the way the thing is, if everything punches up and goes into one side, then that's okay. When you do the very last wall here, it could be a solid wall, it could be another one that you only plant on one side, and that would be just fine as well. So let's just put a few here so that we can see them jump when we do our thing. Okay. Oops, let's put some here so we can see these ones jump. <laughs> Everything should be jumping off when we, when we do this. Okay, let's do this. Ready? And then they all go. See, some fell here, some fell there. It's just fine. Perfect. And everything collects in the hopper. And then you, all you have to do is just come to, 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 and plant them real quick. They grow. You press the button, and every single one row that you make will automatically go ahead and uh, spill, spill off. Perfect. This is it, guys. This is it. You just press the button, and everything happens. You see how the wall moves? Let me show you from here. And the, that's why they cannot be sticky, because if, if, if this were, if you would think maybe I, you stick it, no. The sticky pistons only stick to one of the blocks. The rest of them will go, shift out, and stay there. If, if you were thinking that maybe you would be smart and not use these pistons, that's just not going to work. Righty. Well, I think that will conclude our tutorial, and I certainly hope that you 
I had a good time learning about how to make an aromatic, semi-aromatic cocoa bean farm, then this, this is great. It, it really is helpful if you're doing challenges and things. Usually in the islands you have challenges and things, and I'll show you a quick challenge. Oops challenge and here it is see you you do have like this one the cookies require some cocoa beans to make so if you're going to do the challenge of this one then you need to have cocoa beans to make those challenges so there i hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit the like if you liked and also don't forget to uh, follow if you haven't and this is a free server you can come on in and enjoy it it's islands and eventually we'll have a survival world but not yet and you can start your own island. It's for free. It's Black Worlds. It's playblackworlds.com. Play.blackworlds.com. And I'll put a link at the bottom. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.